Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radacad. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, document all of your service objects, workspaces, apps, data sets, dashboards, data flows, reports, anything uh, from your Power BI tenant as much as your Power BI account has access to, uh, and then export it uh, as a document, as a CSV file or HTML file. Let's see how this is possible without writing any PowerShell codes or any other codes. To document your Power BI service objects, you can download and install Power BI Helper. It's a free tool we have developed in Radicad. You can use it for free. Uh, the link to download it is down in the description below. When you download it, to, in order to use that for the Power BI service, you need to register the app. And there's a link that explains how to set it up. You have to register this as an app. You'll get a client app ID. You come to the settings here and you use that application ID, then this Power BI helper can connect to your Power BI account. Uh, to connect to the Power BI uh, account and get the service objects, you have to log in, which you can use uh, your Power BI account login. If you want to access to all objects, entire objects, you have to use an account, which is a Power BI administrator account. Uh, and then also choose this option which says login as admin. But if you don't have a Power BI ad administrator account, that is still fine. You choose your account and then uh, you say scan service objects. Uh, when you scan service objects, you have the option to say download reports as well, which can be quite helpful in cases that you want to have a copy of those reports locally somewhere um just for your versioning uh, but just be mindful of this that if you select that and your power bi files are big files first you need to have enough space locally to support that uh, second is that the process of scanning service objects might take some time uh, because of those files uh, then you can click on scan service objects after the login after this configuration the uh, a scan service object can take time. It really depends on how many objects you have in the Power BI service under your tenant. Uh, have you selected download reports or not? What is your internet connection speed? All of that. Uh, it will go through a, a list of workspaces uh, and get reports, datasets, dashboards for any of those that you can actually go and see all of those information here after, uh, after the processes completed. You can click on any workspace, for example, see all the reports, data sets, dashboards, data flows under that. So it basically gives you all the information without writing any code, everything available for you. And the account that I used here is not actually a Power BI Service Administrator account, uh, but still I can see all the workspaces that I'm part of it and I have access to it and I have some objects into it. Now, this tool will allow you to do a lot of other things like publishing multiple uh, publishing files to multiple dashboard uh, to multiple service uh, sorry to multiple workspaces um, copying from one workspace to another workspace export the audit log and, and things like that but here we are just talking about exporting uh, a document so after you got all of this service information you can easily click on export to document here which will bring you to the documentation tab, or you can directly come to the documentation tab. Here you can do configurations such as what you want the style of documentation to be because it is a HTML file, your table headers, the font size, font family, all those kind of things. And here is the type of objects that would be exported um, from the service documentation, such as workspace details, reports, dashboards, data sets, data flows, apps, uh, the configuration, things such as tenant settings, gateways, and data sources defined under that. Um, ideally, if you want to document everything, you'll just leave everything checked and then create service documentation. This will create uh, an HTML file, which looks like this, uh, which will have basically all of these uh, information in it, list of workspaces, reports. Now I have plenty of reports here. 
uh, data sets, all of those configurations that we have seen there, we will have list of all of those mentioned here. Now you might you may like to have this information as CSV file because let's say you want to generate a report for that or you want to store it somewhere. Uh, you can see that I have also exported these as CSV file and that is another very simple option in the service tab instead of export to document if you choose this option which is export all metadata uh, that is what is going to happen it is actually exporting that as CSV file for each of these um, type of objects so quite quite simple you get uh, all of your service objects exported without writing any powershell scripts anything like that it can be a good way to uh, to see what you have in the power bi service in one holistic single view power bi helper does a lot of other things uh, i have already some articles and videos about other things that it does such as reducing the size of the model documenting one single Power BI file, exporting the data of a table, uh, things such as uh, exporting the audit log and things like that. I strongly recommend you to go and check it out and see what other things this tool has. And if you have any feedback, let us know. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, go ahead and sub subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI. Thank you.